Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, I'm Quasmander, my name is Nicole Marion and this is a video about the, my tank that crashed. Uh, so basically I'm doing a water test kit and I'm using a ICP test kit uh, because I wanted to know like more in depth uh, what was uh, going on in my water of my crab. And uh, my tank just over there uh, crashed but it's in recovery, I think it's gonna be alright. And uh, I just wonder like what is the ICP, uh, how does it work and I thought you know what, I'll just do a video and bring you with me uh, to see how it works. So you probably wonder what, what mean ICP, uh, the ICP mean inductively, 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 uh, it stands for inductively coupled plasma. Bravo! Uh, and on top of that, they have uh, the optical emission spectrometry. All right, listen to me. I have no clue what it mean, but it sounds super great. It have the word plasma uh, and shoe stuff. It's cool. It sounds really good. Uh, all I know is like uh, they they do like a shooting a plasma into the water uh, and it breaks like the component of the water, so they can know what uh, it's made of. But I don't know, like if I'm not a scientific, I'm not really smart, so uh, I'm talking as smart, I forgot to do this intro, so I was supposed to show you the box, hey, <laughs> here the box, um, but I sent the kit to them and I forgot to do this intro. Ow! So I want to make this video super quick and helpful for you, so uh, let's switch to the what's inside of the box and I will, I will show you how it works. So that was a pretty nice uh, pixel transition. Um, okay, so for the box, uh, it costs around $50 US, which is a 65 Canadian or 45 Euro. Uh, so you can go on their website to find uh, where in the world you can buy uh, this. They have uh, all the retailer uh, just on the website. It comes with the paper instruction, which is pretty well made. Uh, it's pretty simple to follow. Uh, and inside of the box, you have a two vial sample which you, you fill uh, with your water of your aquarium. You should also have a paper that should look uh, something like this uh, inside. I just didn't have mine, so I asked the information. And uh, that's pretty much it. The, the box, there's no expiration date, so you can keep it uh, for a very long time. Uh, since it's, like, it's not going to test any uh, organic stuff, it's only for uh, the metal part, the like uh, calcium, magnesium, stuff like that. And the two last thing that you have in the box is the two barcode. So you're gonna stick them to the vial, uh, simple. And that's it. All right, so now let's go to the first thing that you need to do uh, once you have the box. Before using the Triton ICP water test kit, you will need to register first. So go to the web page and create a new account if you don't have one. Make sure to fill all the important data and don't mess up like I did I put my name as a username um, and uh, make sure to have a good password. Uh, damn it. Make sure you, have, you really have a good password. Uh, make sure to read that gray box and follow it. Um, I had to spice my password just a little bit. Phew. So you see how hard it was for me? So you can imagine how, how hard it was for me uh, when I was at school. So uh, after that is done, you're gonna receive uh, email confirmation. So just click uh, on the email and it will just confirm. After this, you can now log in into your new account. Just press uh, login uh, after this. Once all that is done, it's now time to create the profile for your aquarium. So I just put the information for the aquarium that I was testing. It's uh, 120 liters, which is like a 30 gallons or something and, and try to be uh, as close as you can be for the information uh, because I think they use uh, this for uh, data and the more data they have the more precise they can be so you can just fill up everything and you can create the profile and after you've done that it's time to uh, just put uh, or connect the barcode I'm going to give away the, the my profile so you can just uh, watch my ICP test so uh, no need to uh, copy paste my barcode is already uh, been in use. So let's jump to my aquarium. D 
Alright, so after you travel to uh, Germany, you're gonna receive an email that is gonna say that they, they received their what the Watton sample, and after two or three weeks, they uh, they're gonna do the test. And indeed, after a couple of days during the, the holidays, I received the the, e the second email that it said that I the sample has been tested. So I just press login, and I go to uh, change just the language. And I go after that in the profile under Aquarium Administration. I click on Evaluation, and you can see uh, there uh, the barcode that I've used. You click on that, and here it is. So this is the page where you can see all the data um, from my Aquarium. And the reason why I did this ICP test is because I had a trouble with one, one of my salt. Uh, from Ritzy, it's a Kerwell Pro. I had a crash with them, um, and you can see the video just up there somewhere. Um, so I wanted to know what's going on, so let's see that. Uh, unwanted heavy metal, so it seemed that I'm all green, so there's no nothing uh, wrong with that. And I noticed that when I put like my, my mouse, uh, it's gray behind the, the thing, so I can't really read correctly uh, the, the word. I uh, wish they, they can fix that. Um, so micro element have the sodium, which is super important to see if I'm uh, correctly in my sanity is correct. So it seemed to be all right. I have the calcium and when I did my test, uh, I I took note uh, with my test kit and I'm so far off from what I see. I think when I tested my, my calcium, it was a 470 and I see 413, so it's like, big 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 difference so there's something wrong i use the the sulfur calcium test kit um magnesium seem to be fine uh i'm all pretty much all green everywhere uh lithium yes okay all fine uh oh manganese so I think I know where it's coming from. Uh, I know that some coral that use manganese to, to grow. So I'm not like really uh, worried about that, uh, but it can show, I think it's because of, I, I am gonna guess, I think it's because I use uh, echo power from uh, Two Little Fish. I think it, it contains manganese, but I could be wrong. I'm not quite sure. Um, and Yudin is pretty far off. So there is something totally wrong with that. Uh, so this is a big indicator, the iodine. So I need to find out why it's so high. Um, all the rest seem to be fine. And I see like phosphorus and uh, phosphate. They're like off the chart, but um, when I did my tests, it's like I'm, I'm usually when I have this number, I'm totally fine. Uh, I'm between 0.2 and 0.4. So I'm... I'm okay-ish with that number. Like I'm not going to be super crazy with that. I'm not like a, I wasn't, even when I had like a core power, uh, it wasn't like a big deal for me. But um, yeah, I'm trying to lower, I, I lower right after this, uh, my, my, my first fat. So because I think of this, um, the iodine couldn't be tracked correctly because of the phosphate. So if you go on the help, you can find all the information that's going to, uh, to say what's wrong with your aquarium and what to do. So they said due to excessive high potassium reading, it's not possible to accurate test for your lens. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, lower 
so I should lower my uh, my phosphate. Um, yes, uh, manganese all level or too high. So I don't see like um, a big big thing in my ICP test. Like everything seems to be really uh, normal, honestly. Um, and I really like what the ICP uh, Triton Lab do with the ICP. Uh, I like the their interface. So they, they tell you what to do, uh, and that's really cool. So uh, they say like what you should do. Calcium, I was low, and that's right. Um, potassium, I should actually dose potassium. So that's really cool to know. Uh, I dose time to time potassium with my from my freshwater uh, bottle. It's a Seachem bottle that I use, and time to time I dose potassium. Um, with this like, lack of brown, okay. It's really cool to see all the, those details. So, uh, depending on your aquarium, all this information will uh, will change, and which is super cool. And by the way, I, I'm sharing this um, this link, um, so you can see it's on. So you can go check on my description of uh, under my video. You can click on the link, and you can have like access to all of uh, all of this. So I put everything like open, and you can see if you do if you have like more ICP tests, you can like go uh, historic of the stuff so it's pretty cool so yeah i really like uh, the, the interface like if there's something wrong they, they will tell you uh, it's really cool to to see that so i'm very pleased uh, with the triton lab it's my first icp test so and probably not the last one so uh, yeah i'm really pleased so this was my icp test um this is what the the aquarium looks like uh, right now um it has been like a uh, three weeks in between um, so I was using like I uh, still use uh, the Hana High Clean Tea and the uh, like Silifer uh, Calcium. So like for this one I was like particular way off. Uh, like there is a big gap, so I don't know. Like I should continue or not. Um, I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to do like more uh, ICP tests uh, along the way, so to make sure like uh, it's not like that far. So I'm gonna test uh, more of that. So uh, yeah. So right now. Um, I just need to uh, feed that uh, pig right there, uh, he's hungry, so uh, if you like this video and help you, uh, please hit that like button and uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, bye bye.